Well, you wouldn't know I'm only 15 kilometres from the CBD of Melbourne. I'm on the Yarra River and fishing for some Murray Cod. In this section of the river, there's a whole raft of uh, options that you've got. There's deep pools, there's rock bars, there's bends and there's runs. On the runs, probably the best thing to do is fish a spinnerbait, because they can be fairly shallow, only about two metres. But in these deep pools, go for a deep diving lure. Deep diving crankbait, fish nice and slow in the pools, will quite often catch you a Murray Cod in the Yarra River. You can see here the sort of retrieve that's needed. We're really, a few cranks, we've got that lure down, probably it's probably running down about two to three metres now. And all I'm doing is just holding it down near the bottom, basically feeling its way back to bank side here. Now I've, had, I've had strikes at both ends of the cast when I'm fishing like this. I've had them at my feet and I've had them right at the end of the cast just as you, as you crank down and just about every point in between. So once you reach a pool that's when you change over to a deep diving crankbait or a deep diving minnow. I've got a uh, 90 mil ballista on here. But you could use a number of different lures you could use. But these big pools like here, which is a place called Blue Tongue Bend, fairly iconic pool on the Yarra River. It's the, at the end of a uh, very, very popular nature walk. I just march that lure over that snag. The other thing too is when you're fishing these deep divers for, for cod in rivers, in pools, crank them down and then just fish them real slow. Look at that, you don't even have to retrieve, It'll, that'll fish for you. Combination of use the current working against it and keeping that lure right in the strike zone of the fish. So if you happen to go over a fish, Keep it as long as you can in its strike zone. Try to entice that strike. Hit! Oh, this could be a nice cod. What a... <laughs> now that is what we're after. A Yarra River Murray cod. And this guy, what a lovely cracking fish. And we've just come up to this big pool and I've thrown about 15 spinnerbait casts through it. And I've put on a deep diving ballista. First cast, bang. Now a lot of people would not realise how good a fishery the Yarra River is. And have a look at this guy, eh? Australia's iconic freshwater sport fish. Oh. And he's not done yet. You'd have to be happy with that. I would say seven, eight kilos. Let's get her back in the water. Lovely, lovely Murray cod. Let's take a nap ballista on a Dino 90. And that just goes to show you who would think you would get a fish that good in the Yarra River. And in a fairly well-known pool as well. What a cracker. Now the way this guy took it like so many times before, He's just taken it just in on the edge of this current here, just down on the water. So there might have been a snag close in. Very, very rarely you're going to catch these cod right out in the middle of the pool. But cast out, cranked it down, and there's the result. So you can see how during the fight, this second treble's just hooked in it. See how we got that out? That's better. And he's just hooked up on the top, so he's obviously swirled at it really hard. But that little 90mm dyno, very happy with that. Sort of gives that bit of a, uh, maybe a bit of a carp profile, bit of a bit of a subtle colour. So there you go. Most importantly, 
Just use 20 pound hard cased fluorocarbon, no heavier. And in this case, 90 mil dyno did the job perfectly. That I'm very, very happy with. Absolutely magnificent fish, and here we go. Good one. It's Bill Classen here from The Fishing Show, and if you like this instructional video and want to learn more, it's simple. Go to fishingshowtv.com.au and see a whole host of additional videos.